Hey guys, it's Whitney, your family practice PA here today. And today's video I'm super excited about. It's a subject we've talked a few times about, but I wanted to take a different angle about it. It's one of the most incredible new type two diabetes medications that has some of the most incredible results for weight loss that we've ever seen. Um, brand new class of medications, first in class. And today I wanna to do a little bit different approach. I'm gonna focus more on how the lifestyle modifications can make this give you the best results, not just how the medication medication works and how it works for the diabetes side, but how it works to really help accomplish the weight loss side of it. So um, the medication we're going to be talking today is none other than Manjaro and really going to focus on the diet changes that we can make to help it reach its best results. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so like I was saying today, we are going to be focusing on the best diet with Manjaro. So Manjaro, just to kind of give a little bit of a brief overview, I go into this a lot more detail in my other videos that you can check out on my channel. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get all the new content coming out. But it affects both the GLP-1 and the GIP, which are hormones that the stomach produces to help us with the breakdown of our food, but also with insulin production and helps us get our blood sugars to lower quicker. So um, like I would say, both of these slow gastric emptying, which means you're gonna feel fuller faster and longer. So that's where a lot of the weight loss side of the Manjaro comes in, all the GLP-1 agonists. Manjaro is the first of its class that, that um, affects both of these hormones. So that's why we're seeing almost double the results in all of the studies. Like I said, I go into that in further detail in my other videos that you can check out. But then from the diabetes standpoint, it increases insulin production. So insulin helps us make sure that we don't get those huge glucose, those huge, huge blood sugar spikes. So we get better insulin or glucose control um, and then also have the weight loss side of it by making you feel fuller, faster and longer. So that's just a little brief overview on how Manjaro works as the drug. So now we're gonna get more further into the diet side of things. So one of the big things that we need to focus on is we need to eat slowly. Because that Manjaro slows down that gastric emptying, you need to give your body a chance to actually feel full. So if you keep eating too fast, that's where we're going to get a lot of the more GI upset and the nausea. So we want to give our body a chance to actually digest those small meals, okay? So we want to eat slowly. We also want to eat small meals, but we want to eat more frequent meals. So we want to have those two to 300 calorie meals. Um, so you, some of my patients really like to do three medium sized meals with two small snacks. So you're having those five throughout the day. That way you're not overwhelming the stomach with it slowing. You've got to give the stomach a chance to break down that food. You also, um, when you do that, it helps you really not have the common side effects with a Manjaro, okay? We also have medications that we can help you with, the nausea. So make sure you talk to your medical provider about that, okay? So some of the foods that we really want to avoid are our fried greasy foods, our fast digesting carbs. Those are our simple sugars. So those are our pastries. Um, it also can be, unfortunately, some of our fruits too. So even though fruits can be healthy, they are very quick burning um, sugars. So they can spike your, uh, your glucose, your blood sugar level as well. And we wanna avoid those processed foods. So those are our fast food restaurants. Those are our like canned, more canned things that have the preservatives in there. We want to try to eat those whole natural fruit foods. So that's where some fruit is good. Fresh vegetables are amazing. Getting um, lean protein, all of those things. That's what we're saying. We're trying to increase those lean proteins. We want to decrease those high fiber fruit and um, in, increase those high fiber foods, those complex carbs, our whole wheats, our brown rice, different things along those that help us feel full because these, these we will eat quickly, not feel full. The fried greasy foods really lead to this nausea and the GI upset. So we really wanna watch those too, okay? And we wanna make sure we're eating those healthy fats, okay? So that helps us feel fuller. It helps our good cholesterol, our HDL rise, just helps overall health. So those are our, our nuts, our high fiber fruits, where this is where the fruits come into play. Um, also getting our olive oil, our omega-3s, 
these like our fatty fishes, salmon, all those things. So this needs to be the bulk of our, um, of our diet. And we need to have these more being like our cheat days or having just few and far between. Doesn't mean you can't have any of it. I'm not a big believer in knocking out full, uh, full food groups. But really our goal is to limit these because these can be very, very common if you don't change some of your lifestyle um, habits with Manjaro, okay? So to go through some examples of this, it, you know, a lot of my patients just trying to give them examples of how they can substitute things. Um, they love like fruit juices, things like that. You know, even like your orange juice in the morning, your apple juice. It really, for a diabetic, that is not a good choice. It does nothing for you health-wise and just sends your sugars flying. So we wanna get rid of those. We can get like a flavored water. That's where Crystal Light can come in. I know there's artificial sweeteners, but we're trying to choose the lesser, lesser of evils right now. So for my diabetics, if you need some flavor, you can get Propel, you can get Gatorade Zero, Powerade Zero, all of that. So this is where we're just trying to make it easy for you guys. Um, not trying to make these huge, all swooping lifestyle modifications all at once. So instead of having the fruit juice, having a sugar-free flavored water. Instead of having our soda, we can start doing some seltzers. So some people just like those bubbles. Um, I'm one of those people. So I've really learned to like LaCroix. So I found the flavored LaCroix. I did not love it at first. I had to stick with it, but now I really do enjoy it. So you can have the, so LaCroix is an option. The bubbly is an option. Um, here in Florida, we have Spindrift. There's a bunch of different ones that you can get those seltzers that you still kind of feel that sense that those bubbles, but you don't have the high sugar of the sodas. If push comes to shove, have a Coke Zero, have a Diet Coke. Like I said, we're just trying to make little changes at a time. So when we're making these, I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. The Diet Coke, Coke Zero is fine in this stage of where we're at, okay? We just want to control those sugars, okay? So our white bread, we can trade it in for whole grain. Same thing as white rice, brown rice. All those things, they're gonna make you feel fuller faster, or make you feel fuller longer. So trying to make it where you don't have those hunger cravings, Manjaro will take away those cravings. I can tell you that. It is one, that's what's so incredible. So many of my diabetics come in and they say they're, they're hungry. And when you're having these spikes in blood sugar, you are truly hungry. That's not just your mind telling you that. Your body is sending um, hunger signals. So that's where these GLP-1 agonists were incredible and now Manjaro almost gets double that effect. So it's not saying that the Ozempics and the things along those lines, I still love Ozempic. I ride it every day, which is our semaglutide. Um, but this just gives more results, bigger results. So sometimes insurance won't cover this. So don't be afraid to talk to your patient about or your provider about Ozempic because Ozempic still right now, I'm getting better insurance coverage but it's worth a try. And I'm, and at least for my patients, literally just on my last shift on Thursday, was able to give the first month sample and then Manjaro, Eli Lilly, who produces it, is giving a lot of copay help right now too. So we wanna take advantage of that. But um, but yeah, like sugary cereals, which are like your Fruit Loops, your, your Frosted Flakes, all of those things, maybe switching it out for oatmeal. So all of those things, these little, these are just some examples of how you can just make those small changes and they add up over time, okay? There is so many resources, so many resources. The American Diabetic Association, um, all of these things. You can just Google diabetes diets, um, low blood sugar, you know, like trying to lower your blood sugar, all these things. So don't be afraid to, um, I have resources for my patients. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. But just to kind of sum it up, um, Manjaro can be taken with or without food. So it does not matter, you know, it's a once a week injection. So it does not matter when you take it. It's not gonna crash your blood sugars, your glucose levels um, or anything. So you can take it with or without food. And one thing I do love about this, and I've never mentioned it, and um, but I think it's easy, especially for my little bit older patients, but for anybody, they're pre-filled syringes and they're single use. So Ozempic and things like that, you have to twist the pin. It's multi-use, use a different needle each time. But like, so when I give my first month, when you give it, it's four syringes. So it literally, you just use it, comes with incredible instructions, boom, 
throw it away, you're done. So that's one other thing that can be a little bit easier about this medication that I really like because I'm all for making it easier on you guys as the patients. Um, I also try to give demonstrations to my patients. We usually give the first dose in office. So you might want to talk to your medical provider about that just so you don't get home and not feel comfortable. I always tell my patients too, if you get to the second one, you don't, I have my nurses, they can just come up and they'll grab, oops, <laughs> grab a, a empty exam room and help the patient too. So when it's not even need an appointment. So always don't be afraid to ask for that. Don't be afraid when you're at home. If you don't feel comfortable doing something, you need to ask those questions to your medical provider. If they're not open to it, you might want to look into a different provider, but most of us are. So, um, but I really, please check out my other videos because if you have never heard of this medication, it is gonna be a game changer. It's first in class, so I know we're gonna have more coming. Right now, it's still only approved for type two diabetes, but the company is um, in the process of new studies, different things. They were actually studying it with their type two diabetes indication. They're trying to get it for obesity or weight loss alone, like Ozempic is as semiglutide or Wagovi. So they're in the works of that. Um, so just be on the lookout for it. If you have any questions, like I said, leave it in the comments below. I've been writing this medication a lot more lately. Um, just wanted to see the results in a few of my patients and they're tolerating it great and the weight loss results are incredible. So, um, but yeah, so I'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys.